This week, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige, in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, gave some very interesting answers to questions fans have had on their minds for a while now. When asked about the upcoming Civil War movie as well as Spider-Man's place in the next phase of Marvel movies, Feige had this to say. Well, we're producing it for Sony. It's exciting and we're treating it like we treat all our films, to try and make the best version now of Spider-Man, and a version of Spider-Man that inhabits this universe that we've created. We're in lockstep with Sony, Motion Picture Group Chairman Tom Rothman and producer Amy Pascal at every turn. Well, it certainly seems like things are going well at this point. Another question that I know everyone has wanted to see answer is what are the odds of Spider-Man characters getting more play in the greater Marvel Universe and other Marvel characters getting play in a Spider-Man project? Say, what if we finally wanted that big Punisher, Daredevil, Spider-Man team-up that we've all been dreaming of? Or what if, say, Tombstone or Hammerhead were to be villains in uh, the Daredevil show. Phage had an answer for that too. Without getting into the contracts, it's definitely a Sony picture produced by Marvel Studios. We've been working with each other for a number of months now. It's been just as healthy as any of our other internal discussions. We just look at it as having an additional team members. We wouldn't want to do it if we couldn't do it in a way we've done all our other movies. And I think that's what Sony wants from us. Well, that's certainly a lot of non-committal industry speak. He certainly didn't say no, did he, or rule out the possibilities. Just that if it was to happen, and it would take a lot of contract negotiation. No doubt less contract negotiation than getting Spider-Man back, but certainly if it was to happen, Sony would want their piece for what they own. The final tidbit Phage was sure to drop was in regard to the upcoming Ant-Man movie. Apparently, Paul Rudd, who plays Scott Lang, is already filming his scenes for the upcoming Civil War. No story details were revealed, but uh, apparently story points brought up in Ant-Man will be important for Phase 3. Could this be the importance of Pym Particles, or maybe something else? entirely, your guess is as good as mine at this point. So I guess that'll just about do it for another news slice. In the comments section down below, sound off with your own thoughts and feelings about the news of the day. And until next time, everyone, this is Joel of the Comic Book Cast, and this has been the news as I CBC it. Thanks for watching, everybody. So thank you for watching the video, and if you guys like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you haven't already, check out some of these other great videos we have on the channel. Just click the annotation right there, it'll take you to them. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good one.